Welcome back to the channel. My name is Douglas and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about getting set up and using the M Audio Oxygen Pro Mini with MPC Beats. Now, there's a couple of little bugs that I ran into that I'm going to walk you through and talk about some workarounds, so stay tuned for that. And in this video, I'm going to talk about installing MPC Beats, installing an MPC Beat sound pack, and then getting the controller plugged in, making sure the MIDI map is set up correctly and all of that good stuff. So let's jump right into it. As you can notice, I'm not in my studio. I'm in my mobile setup, which is perfect for the Oxygen Pro Mini because it's so easy to plug right into my laptop and use on the go. So let's get started here. The first thing I'm going to do is plug the Oxygen Pro Mini into the computer. We're going to do that with this USB cable here. I've got one end plugged into the controller and plug the other end into the computer. That's going to power on the controller. The Oxygen Pro Mini does not have an on off switch. So just plugging it in turns it on. We want to make sure this is turned on before we open up MPC Beats or anything like that. So over here on the computer, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up the M Audio Software Manager. Now, if you don't have the M Audio Software Manager yet, or you haven't registered the controller, go ahead and create an M Audio account. Register the controller with M Audio. The serial number is on the back of the controller. That's going to give you access to the Software Manager, which allows you to download all the cool stuff like the instrument, the apps, and the sound packs. So if you need help with that, I have another video on that. Go check it out, click up here, or I'll place a link in the description below. Watch that and that'll walk you step by step how to get registered and download the Software Manager. So now that we've done that, open up the Software Manager. And we're going to scroll down to the apps portion of the Software Manager. And you'll see MPC Beats and MPC Beats MIDI Maps. We're going to click the download button for both of those. Sometimes you have to click it twice in order for it to download. I don't know if that's a little bug for Windows or what, but we're going to let that download. The reason we need MPC Beats MIDI Maps is because MPC Beats doesn't come with MIDI Maps for the newer M Audio controllers like the Oxygen Pro, Pro Mini, and the Hammer 88 Pro. So the MIDI Maps installs those maps, but I'll talk about some bugs with those in a minute here. So while that's downloading, let's scroll down to the MPC sound packs. So a great thing with the Oxygen Pro Mini is it comes with a whole bunch of sound packs. And these sound packs are basically bundles of samples, programs, sequences, all sorts of things to get you started, get you rolling. And you can even use those samples to build your own custom programs. So I recommend downloading a bunch of those, installing them if you have the space on your computer, and then you can leverage those samples across your beat making. So it's really cool that way. I also think that MPC Beats is a great option to kind of get started in the computer music world because it's a free, fully featured DAW that, while it doesn't give you a lot of audio tracks, it does give you the ability to loop and build some beats really quickly, and I'll show you that here in a minute. So MPC Beats just finished downloading, but we're going to go ahead and download the producer kits as well. So we're going to let that download while we go ahead and install MPC Beats. We're going to install that first before we install the MIDI maps. Click on the install button. For some reason, I have to click mine twice. And then that's going to go through and open up the Windows installer for MPC Beats. We're going to walk through that installation process really quickly together. And MPC Beats is going to get installed to your C drive. It doesn't give you a choice when you install it. Unfortunately for me, I don't have much space on my C drive. Most of my content is on another drive on my computer. But in this case, you don't have a choice. You have to install it on your C drive. We're going to click I accept the agreement. Click next. You could create a desktop shortcut. I have plenty, so I'm not going to check that. Click next and click install. So now that this is done installing, we're going to uncheck launch MPC beats because we want to install the MIDI maps first before we open it up. So uncheck that, click finish, and then click install on the MIDI maps. Click accept the agreement, next, full installation, leave that as it is, click next, and then install. That's going to install the MIDI maps again for the newer Oxygen Pro controllers. Click finish. So we're going to go ahead and open up MPC Beats. Click open. You could open this also from your start menu. Just find MPC Beats within there. And then when MPC Beats opens, we get a pop-up that says a new version's available. We're just going to click remind me later. Now you may get a wizard that opens up first before this project screen. I'm going to show you how to get to that if it doesn't though. So we're just going to for now click empty project here. Don't worry if you have the wizard first. To open that wizard on the fly, just click the hamburger icon up in the top left corner, go to help, 
and click open startup wizard. So this may be where yours went to first. If it did, great, click the next button. And you'll notice that it automatically populates the Oxygen Pro Mini in the MIDI map controller section. If we open up this menu, you'll see that all of the newer Hammer 88 Pro, Oxygen Pros are all in here. This is because we installed that MIDI maps in the software manager. Click next, and then we're gonna select advanced and click next and start making beats. Now, if we play these pads, you'll notice that they play kind of a random spattering of the pads across the 16 pads on the screen. Not very helpful. So on the controller, let's fix one thing here. First, go in the DAW preset mode, turn DAW mode on by pressing the button, which will illuminate it. Then hold down on that button and let's select MPC as our DAW. I haven't found it to make much of a difference here because when we play the pads, we still get that same smattering. We can go click pad bank. One thing that I have discovered that's a little frustrating with the Oxygen Pro Mini, and hopefully this gets fixed in a firmware update, but the pad bank seems to be the only thing that affects the pads. So we have eight pads and we have basically two sets of those by pressing pad bank. We have eight here and then another eight. So if we play these bank one, pad nine, 10, 11, et cetera, and then we go press pad bank, we get pads one through eight. So a little bit frustrating that there's not more pads available. The banks here seem to only affect the knobs. So if we go in here, bank one, knob five, bank two, knob one, bank two, knob five, bank three. So if you wanna switch banks, you have to tap on the bank button twice because there's one through four and then five through eight. And that doesn't seem to apply to the pads though. I could be missing something, but from what I see, we have basically eight pads and then we can press pad bank. And we get another set of eight here that we can assign things to. Even in the preset editor, I don't see a way to switch banks when we're going in to select and assign controls. I only see the two banks which are controlled by this pad bank button here. Something to chew on. Hopefully that'll get changed in the future with a firmware update so we have actually multiple banks of pads as well. So if we go back in here, there's one thing that we can change here in MPC Beats. And if we go down here, there's this little MIDI learn icon down at the bottom right hand corner. Click on that and it's gonna open up this panel that we can see the different assignments here. And you'll notice that it's not enabled. So if I click on enable and we go in here and we make sure this is set to factory M Audio and the Mini, which it should be when you used the wizard at the beginning. And then we play these same pads. You'll notice that they're now in a bit more of aligned fashion, but they're still spaced out really oddly to me. This top row is starting at the bottom left-hand corner of my pad. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. So I don't know if there's a reason behind the way that this MIDI mapping was put together. To me, it doesn't make sense. The knobs don't seem to do anything. And so for me, I wanna just go and build my own custom mapping. And we can do that really easily by clicking on this dropdown, going into user, and then we just grab one of these copies of the mini. So grab copy 100 and then click on learn. You'll notice that now we have a whole bunch of yellow highlights over the controls in MPC Beats. And we can click on any one of the pads, for instance, and then just tap the corresponding pad on the controller. So now we can assign all of the controls we want to the various controls on the controller. Let's go build this out a little bit here. I'm also going to assign the stop and play buttons because those don't seem to be doing anything for me even when I'm in DAW mode with MPC selected. They don't seem to do anything. So click on play, we're gonna tap play, stop is stop. And then we could assign knobs as well to the different knobs in our cue links. So now we can just click on learn again. And if we tap on these pads, you'll notice, well, some of them are doubly assigned. So what we can do for those is we can see down here, we can go and we can clear the MIDI mappings by right clicking on the MIDI mappings in this section here. And I'm gonna clear, I'm gonna go one through, there we go. 
So I just cleared everything. So now we just have one through eight assigned. And you'll notice that those highlight and they're in a much more organized fashion, at least from my point of view. So now that's gonna get saved to that copy of the Oxygen Pro Mini. And we can go and we can export that out and we could always create new MIDI mappings as well. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how to correct the mappings. Use that learn function, grab a copy of the mini mapping, or just create your own mapping, and then use that learn function to set it up the way that it makes sense for you. For me, it just makes sense the way that I did it there. I think this should have worked out of the gate. I'm kind of disappointed that the DAW mapping doesn't map correctly, at least I'm not able to get it to work. If you do, comment below and let me know what I'm missing here. Um, if you go into the preferences, edit preferences, you'll notice that in the MIDI sync, I have control and track on for all of the Oxygen Pro MIDI inputs and outputs. I wasn't able to use the learn function when I scaled it back to what M Audio recommended, which was the MIDI in three and the MIDI out three and then the Oxygen Pro Mini. So unfortunately I couldn't get what they recommended to work, but I got it to work the way um, that it is now with all of that on. And then using the learn function, I was able to customize my own mapping. So that's great. Let's quickly go and install a sound pack. So I'm gonna close out of MPC Beats and we're gonna click on the install on the F9 Beats instrument collection. We're gonna accept the agreement. We're gonna install. And that's finished installing. We're going to click finish and we're going to install the producer kits as well. Again, keep in mind that these are getting installed to your C drive. So just make sure you have enough space there so that you can install. These are about a gig to a gig and a half each from a space standpoint. So we'll let those install and then I'll open MPC Beats back up and show you how to play the sounds from these sound packs. So that's finished installing. We're going to click on the finish button here. And you'll see that both of these are installed now. Let's go back up and open MPC Beats again. We're gonna click open. Again, we're gonna click remind me later and empty project. And because we had this learn window open, we can close that by going down and clicking on the MIDI learn icon again. And then we're gonna to wanna to open up the media browser by clicking on the media browser icon here. And now we can see that we have our F9 Instruments Beats collection. We have the MPC Beats producer kits, and we can click on any one of these to load up the samples down below. And so let me go over to the MPC Beats producer kits. And what we can do is filter this using these filters here by clicking on any one of them, like Electro House. And then it gives us the different kits that are available or programs underneath that filter. We can unselect that filter. We could go over to samples. And again, we could filter these down by maybe house. And these give us the individual samples that make up the programs here. So let's explore this a little bit. Let's undo our house filter and go back to program. And let's filter this down to house. And let's double click on this classic kit Chicago. We could either click and drag it onto our pads or we could double click. And that's gonna load this sound up onto our pads. And we could actually play this. And you'll notice it's using the mapping that we set up earlier under our learn function. And then what we could do is we could just go record, play, And then it's gonna continuously loop through that until we click the stop button. And we could add to this. So you can very quickly go in and loop and just continue to add. It automatically switches to overdub as soon as you record and it loops, it'll switch to overdubs. So you're able to add onto your track additional sounds as you go. So very easy to load up different programs and then we can load them onto our pads by double clicking them over here. We could load up a couple of additional ones. And then again, if we wanna play them, currently this is on Classy, but we could load up Detroit by double clicking on Detroit. Heart.
And then if we scroll to the right here, you'll see that it loads in all of the samples used in the different programs. So we could even go as far as dragging a program onto one of the pads to customize our own program. We could also go over to our media pane over here. We could go to the samples, could filter that down, maybe deep house. We could grab a different sample from here and we could replace the kick we currently have by dragging it onto our kick. It brings it into our project. We very quickly have started to customize our own program or even leverage programs that come with the sound packs. So again, that is a quick and dirty on how to kind of get started with the sound packs in MPC Beats. This is not a video on how to use MPC Beats. Just want to get you rolling, get you kind of fix the mapping that's kind of you know, muddled right now and get you just playing some beats. Really easy to kind of get started once you've got those sound packs installed, drag in samples, build your own programs, or use the programs that are already built, tweak them how you want. Uh, that's just a quick rundown there. We could also go over to our track. If we wanted to play the keyboard and play plugins, we could go over to the track on the left-hand side and change that to plugin. Now down here in the plugin, we can choose from different plugins, and you may have more, you can set that folder in the preferences. But MPC Beats comes with tube synth, electric, and bass line out of the box. So we can access the details of this plugin by either choosing a preset down here, or we could open up the plugin itself by clicking this little icon to the right of the plugin field. That's going to open up the tube synth plugin, and we could go in and we could choose our different presets from here as well. So we could click on any one of these, and instead of using the mapping, we're just gonna use a keyboard. Could go and grab a different sound, maybe we want bent steam. And there you go, you're able to play plugins with the keys on the M Audio Oxygen Pro Mini very quickly by changing your track from drum to plugin and then choosing the plugin that you want and get right to playing. So again, not a tutorial on how to use MPC Beats. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that because I will be putting a simple tutorial together from a beginner standpoint on how to get started making a beat inside MPC Beat and building a track. So be on the lookout for that. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button. If you've got any questions around getting the Oxygen Pro Mini set up with MPC Beats, I know there's a lot going on here. It should work out of the gate. It doesn't seem to. We had to fix some things. So hopefully you were able to follow along, but if you have any additional questions, throw those down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching. Stay inspired and keep making that music.